Okay, day 60. Six zero or six zero. Anyways, day 60. I'm starting to get into videos that people have been asking me to do. So today is about the three most expensive bikes that the Trek Bike Store in Victoria carries. These are the price of a car. Plain and simple, but more eco-friendly and a better carbon footprint. So hey, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. What did you think of today's video? Do you want to see a lot more like it? Because I'm about to create a lot more. So let me know. Thanks. Have a great day. Oh, oh, hi there. Oh, Jesse, oh, hey. nice to see you. Uh, it's Mitch again here from the Trek Bike Store in Victoria. Uh, today we're just looking at another bike here we have in the shop. This one is Bill, the owner of the store, is here. His personal ride. This is the Madone, the new Madone Disc. Uh, this particular one is the flagship model in Trek's lineup for this year. So this one's got a lot of cool features on it. Um, this bike's obviously full Durace bike, electronic shifting frame that's handmade in the US, which is pretty cool. Most of the companies nowadays, it's, everything's overseas or offshore bikes. It's nice that Trek's still doing some stuff in North America. Um, so that's where this bike is made in Wisconsin from a carbon fiber that's made in the States as well. So that's kind of cool. This bike has got decked out with everything. It's got full carbon wheels. Bill's running a 60 mil depth rim right now, it looks like. So that'll be nice, nice aero package here. These aero bikes are becoming a real popular performance option for those who are so inclined. They, they hold their speed so well, it's incredible. It's, if you haven't ridden one, it's really, really worth throwing a leg over and trying one. Um, yeah, what you're talking What's about? the uh, retail value on something like this? Uh, the retail value of this particular bike, again, with the US built frame, is uh, 17200 So it's not the cheapest uh, bicycle <laughs> you could find out there. <laughs> But uh, it's pretty incredible. Okay, components? <laughs> components on this guy, yeah, just like we touched on briefly, we've got a full Durace Grupo here, Durace Electronic. This bike is quite filthy because Bill's been off-roading it, which is nice. You like to see when people use their bikes. So yeah, full electronic Durace on this guy. Really clever system, of course. Uh, Durace disc, Durace shifters and everything. It's got the nice new new Shimano rotors, the new um, Ice Tech rotors, hydraulic calipers again. This bike also has a system similar to the Demonic we touched on in a previous video, so it um, does give you a little bit of compliance from the bumps, so still even though it's such a fast aggressive bike, you're still getting a good bit of comfort out of them, which is nice. And another, another nice thing nowadays with the disc being on almost everything, you can run a wider tire if you want, even on a bike like this, so make it really comfortable on all kinds of road surfaces. Okay guys, so yeah, Justin and I were just chatting over about uh, Bill's Madone, uh, which is the flagship bike in Trek's lineup at $17,000. And he was just asking about other high-end bikes we have in the shop at the moment. So we're just looking at a couple of them. So up here we have another new Damani SLR. So again, it's a handmade in the States frame, handmade in Wisconsin frame. This bike's an Altegra DI2 bike with uh, carbon wheels, 30 mil wheels, gravel tires. Really, really nice high-end all around do it all bike. Really cool on that guy. Yeah. You're already on camera. It's running. Okay, and then here's another pretty new one to the shop here. It's the new Madone Speed. So now, now what Trek is doing for 2020 is they're selling the Madone with a set of integrated aero bars. So for your you know, a uh, racer who doesn't want a dedicated uh, time trial bike, they want to stick with a nice aero road bike but have the option of getting into aero, uh, they're doing that as a stock uh, setup now. Obviously this bike, we haven't cut down the steer tube or anything, it's at its full height, so whenever someone gets this, it's going to be fit down to its more aggressive setting. For now, just set up in its uh, highest setup, just to leave us all the room for a fit later. But, um, same thing, full carbon bike, obviously, I'll take our components on this one. This particular one's got 50 mil deep carbon uh, bond trigger wheels, so this will be a really, really fast bike. Really nice to uh, try bike for someone who maybe races courses that aren't really flat. Like if you're on a course with a lot of hills and a lot of turns, like an aero road bike's way better choice often than a pure TT bike. They handle so much better, much safer on the brakes, much better in the corners. Yeah, really nice choice. we
Trek's doing, uh, this guy's coming in at 8,500 uh, as it sits now. And that one we looked at previously, which I'm sure Jesse will now put up on screen now, is 10.3. 10.3 for an SLR US made uh, frame on that one. Okay, so those are three bikes we looked at here, three of the highest end bikes we have in the shop at the moment. Uh, here at the Trek store on Catherine Street in Victoria. And if you want to find us, you can find all our contact info below the video here. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lease Ooh, getting caught in the mist is so many they'll never get out of